Iran's new air defense system identifies fingerprints of individual F-35 stealth fighters. In the latest of multiple breakthroughs in the development of indigenous air defense systems, Iran has reportedly developed a system capable of detecting THE fingerprints of individual F-35 stealth fighters and other advanced assets fielded by adversaries. This network has proven capable of neutralizing high-end American assets including stealth drones in the past. Iran's progress in modernizing its air defenses and in studying and reverse engineering American stealth technologies have repeatedly caught Western analysts and officials by surprise. The country's air defense network has also benefited from integration of Russian technologies, including the Rezonin's Northeast radar, which has proven successful both in detecting and in tracking F-35s operating in the region. Iran has long been speculated to be considering acquiring S-400 air defense systems, designed specifically to counter American stealth aircraft, using multiple dispersed radars operating in different wavebands, although officials have recently indicated that such acquisitions are no longer seen as under consideration. Iran has nevertheless proceeded to order Su-35 fighters 4 plus plus generation heavyweight combat jets which use triple radars, including two L-band ESA radars, to maximize situational awareness against stealth targets. These are expected to be networked with ground-based air defenses, with their elevated sensors, providing a further boost to situational awareness. These reported Iranian operations mirror ongoing jamming efforts by Russian S-300s and other systems operating in Ukraine, which frequently come into contact with F-35s flying over Eastern Europe. Iran is itself an operator of some of the most advanced variants of the S-300 system, which were acquired specifically to provide an asymmetric defense against possible Western air attacks on cities, military bases and nuclear facilities. Although the F-35 is considered far from ready for high-intensity combat, it remains a potentially potent threat, particularly to countries heavily dependent on ground-based air defenses, as it was designed primarily for strike missions, including nuclear delivery, rather than air-to-air -air combat.